Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got this incredibly tasty fish stew recipe for you. This recipe is amazing. But first of all, have you subscribed to my channel? Especially if you've been watching my recipes for so long and you still have not subscribed. Ha ha. Have Melzi, please. Please subscribe. Let's go subscribe to YouTube, please. Thank you. For this recipe, you can use pretty much any kind of fish that you prefer, but I will be using some red sea bream. They're also known as headless sea bream or red snapper in some countries. They haven't been cleaned yet, so I will be doing that just now. So to discard my fish, I will be using this nifty little tool I found on Amazon. It is so good. I think it's called the fish discaler or scaler. It is very handy, I tell you. Works really fast and with little mess compared to using a knife. This is not an ad and it's not a promotion. It's just me sharing a useful um, tip with you. So be on the lookout for it. I think it costs about two or three pounds. I'm not too sure, but it is absolutely marvelous. That's all I can say. And I used to dread the scaling fish until I found this. And since then, you know, it's just been a breeze. Anyway, after the scaling, this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to season the fish now. I cleaned the fish with some lemon, but I'll also be adding some more to season as well. Fish and lemon go so well together. The lemon cuts through with that fishy smell that most people don't like, and it also adds flavor to it. If you don't already do this, please start. It is a match made in heaven, I tell you. And after that, I will be adding some more spices and seasonings to it. And to season, I will be using some cumin because what is fish without cumin? Some garlic powder, onion powder, stock cubes, smoked paprika, and some salt. Now I'm going to massage this thoroughly into the fish and then cover and leave to marinate overnight. Let me shim some people. I am not pressed for time. I have time. We shall marinate overnight. Ah. Now, instead of frying my fish in oil, I will be air frying instead. So I've dumped them in the basket and I will be placing in the air fryer and then I will brush with a bit of oil, just about a teaspoon. And this is just so the fish don't dry out while they're frying and become a bit charred. I know some people prefer not to use oil at all, but it doesn't work for me because as much as you want to eat healthy, you still want to enjoy the food. If you fry without oil, I don't know, it's just... It's just a bit dry and I don't want that anyway. So I'm just going to cover with oil, like I said, and then I will cover and air fry for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Now, depending on the kind of air fryer that you have, you may need to do about 25 to 30 minutes, but mine works at just 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. This is quite okay for me. So I'm just going to take it out and then set aside for use later. And for my peppers, this is what I'll be using. I've got two bell peppers, three paprika peppers, three chili peppers, that's shombo, two scotch bonnet, and one onion you can use pretty much any other kind of mix that you prefer and after blending roughly this is what it looks like if you want to add tomatoes you can do that as well but it just makes it a bit watery but if you're okay with that sort of consistency then please feel free to add tomatoes but you know me i don't like tomatoes in my fried stews at all and now it's time for the frying and for that i will be using some butter i know i already spoke about eating healthy just about about a minute ago and here i am with my butter in all of its glory anyway baby steps so i've got my butter in here and i will wait until it melts and then i'm going to go in with some chopped onions now the reason for using butter is because i need to caramelize the onions a bit and butter works better than oil so if you want you can use oil instead but if, if you're going to use oil for this recipe please use coconut oil it's so good with this recipe honestly you will absolutely love it so the onions have gone in now and i'm just going to fry this until they begin to caramelize now when you caramelize an onion you're supposed to fry until it turns really brown that's when all of the sweetness and the onions is released and it's so good when they now add it at the end it's so 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 good 
The only reason I don't do that is because I'm going to be taking pictures of this and it doesn't really look aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't really look nice when you take pictures, you know, with the brown onions and all of that. But if you're just making it at home, please wait until it really browns. You will enjoy it. Don't, don't burn it though. There's a difference between caramel caramelizing and burning onions. Don't burn it. Just do it on low heat until it turns brown, you know. And then afterwards, I'm going to go in with my chopped bell peppers and also add a bit of salt to that and then combine and fry for about three minutes the only reason why i'm choosing to add the bell peppers and the salt now is because i'm working with fish and that means i won't be able to cook for too long so i need you know i need the peppers to be flavorful as well so that way if you bite into the peppers then it won't taste bland but if you want you can skip the step and just garnish with the peppers but i tell you this tastes a lot better so I'm just going to fry this for about three minutes thereabout, and then I will transfer it into a bowl and then transfer the pan back onto the heat. And now the pan is back on and I'm just going to add some vegetable oil. And once that heats up, I will go in with some minced garlic and ginger. And at this time, I'm going to fry the ginger and garlic for about two to three minutes. Please don't do this on high heat and please keep an eye on it because it's so easy for you to burn the garlic and it's going to ruin the taste of your, you know, of your stew. So just keep an eye on it. And afterwards, I will be going in with my blended peppers. And after combining the pepper mix, I will go in with my seasonings. And for that, I'm using some basil, bouillon cubes, thyme, salt, and some curry powder. I know some people don't like to use curry powder with their fish stew. I don't know why, but I did get some comments on some recipe that I posted on Instagram a while back. There is nothing wrong with using curry powder for fish, nothing at all. Unless you use a soap powder brand or something and then it didn't taste good or doesn't taste good or something, there is nothing wrong with curry powder in fish. So after that, I'm going to leave this to fry for about 30 minutes, but do remember to stir every now and then. And this is what it looks like after 30 minutes. Can you see it is so well, well fried. In fact, I was so hungry at this time that I just, I just put some of this on my rice and just had it fried. I was so hungry. And it tasted good, you don't, you know, even without the fish and all. So I will begin to transfer the fish into the pan. Just so the fish absorbs the stew properly, I will begin to coat it with the stew. And then I will leave it to simmer for about a minute. And at this time, I will begin to decant some of the excess oil. Oil police. Oil police. Can you see? This is what happens after every yata did the recipe. So sometimes if you see oil floating on top and I have not decanted, it's because it helps with preservation. This way, if I leave my pot of stew on my hot for like two days, it still won't go bad. And that's because it's been deep fried and the oil helps with the preservation. So after doing that, I'm going to begin to transfer. Oh, wagon. I will begin to transfer the the onions and the bell peppers and, and then I will leave to simmer for a minute and that's it it's ready just look at that this recipe is so good I tried it with yam pottage it was mm, let me not even say too much honestly just try it and come back with your feedback I promise you you will not be disappointed and if you do try it please let me know how you get on please leave me a comment in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share with your family and friend give me a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next video bye